So there's a new AI tool that just landed on the market that is basically an AI developer for non-tech people. Data Button has their AI agent reasoning model that can take all the briefs and requirements and everything that you've given it and then think through the requirements sheet that you've given it and then create and execute on an app. So as you can see here, you can provide mockups, screenshots and specification PDF documents. And then the reasoning model or reasoning agent will think through a solution on how to implement the website that you want. Then it will create a high level plan and steps on what to do to create this app. And then you can just go ahead and click through and execute on what you want and you don't want to be added to the website. And then finally, the best part is, is you can deploy to production directly on the app. So let's get started with data button. All you have to do is just log in with Google. And once we've logged in with Google or any sort of way you wanna log in, you're welcomed with this page. First, you wanna click new app right here and then it will give you this awesome page, which basically talks about, let's turn your ideas into exceptional software. So let's describe an app. Cool. So I wanted to create a software as a service, which is a subscription tracker for small teams and individuals. So yeah, just basically gave it a subscription tracker and then a small description of what it is, how it works, and then who it's for. And then I can click continue. And then we're going to upload some requirements, stories, quotes, or specifications. Now, how do you create these is basically I went on ChatGPT and then asked it for simple software as a service apps. We're just going to go ahead and use this one. So yeah, we're going to go with a requirements and a spec sheet for this app. Awesome. So I'm going to download this PDF file and then I'm going to upload it right here. So that is one of the things. And then let's maybe create a wireframe design. Okay, and then we have the PDF file right here. And then now we can give it some design inspiration. So I'm gonna go ahead and look for design inspirations and then I'm gonna come back once I have some. Awesome, so I found some inspirations online. All I did was I went on Figma and tried to find a free one that was already there. You know, there's a lot of nine times out of 10s, your idea is gonna be out there and that's totally fine. So we're just gonna find them on Figma and upload some of the design inspirations and then we're gonna click continue. And then we are going to choose what integrations we want to have. So this is the cool part. So um, you don't have to set up login, log out or creating a user signing up. All you have to do is just user authentication and management. Just click on it. I want authentication because I want people to authenticate. Click let's get started. Going to say creating your app and it will slowly use the reasoning model to bunch up all the things that you've given it in order to create an app. And as you can see here, data button is creating a plan for us. And then it says we're going to create a modern landing page with brand identity, set up Firebase authentication, build the main dashboard layout and navigation, implement that management, create expenses tracking, renewal reminders, add subscription analytics and insights and implement settings and user preferences. And it gives you the tasks, what's in progress, what's done. And here it will give you just some thoughts of how to suge suggest what you should start with and such. So we're just gonna go ahead and start the task, which is basically creating the modern landing page with the brand identity. And it's really cool because that data button agent acts as if it's your like CTO. It gives you what the thought process is and you know it's gonna start creating the apps. Cool, so we just created this awesome UI component. As you can see, it created the landing page. So this is cool because now, when you add a comment, this is only to the context of this subtask. As you can see, it's not related to any of the other tasks. So if I ask it to do something like that, it will only be related to the subtask one and nothing else. Awesome. So it's asking for a dashboard preview. Now, what we can do is just use the one. So you have this very modern dashboard look cool that we took from uh, the Figma designs and then we have that. Okay, great. So we can just accept this. We mark it as done and then we can go ahead and start the second task. And then while we're setting up the second task, we can actually go to Firebase and set up our account. Uh, we want to go to the authentication page right here. It actually gives you step by step of what to do. Awesome. So we're just going to take these config files right here, add it right there, creating a logout page for the app. Your app is protected and ready to go. So yeah, cool. So now it's going to go ahead and finish subtask two for us. Cool. So it was able to create this for us, a login page with Google, with email, logout and such. So I'm going to go ahead and power through this, finish this up for us, 
make sure everything's good to go. And then I'll be back once we have the finished product. So it was finally done. Now it's just basically error fixing. And I don't think I'm going to be able to fix all the errors that it has. You know, we have the login page. We have the home page. The authentication was actually working. As you can see, I logged in with a provider here and showing me which email that I used. And then there's no subscription data. So it's going to say error loading subscription data. And it's still writing code. So it might refresh. Uh, but you get the gist of it. You get the idea. Um, this built it out all alone for me and it gave all the steps and activities that it had. If I had more time, I would have gone ahead and actually committed to uh, fixing everything and making sure everything is good to go. And if I had more credits, I would have definitely done that. But as you can see, I think it's allowing me to go above my credit limit just to fix some of the errors, which is cool. Uh, but if I actually wanted to keep going, this video would be probably like 45 minutes to an hour. So yeah, that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, by the way. Uh, we've almost hit 11,000 subscribers and I truly appreciate it. I'm on the road to 20,000 subscribers by the end of this year. And only you guys can help me do that. So please subscribe. And yeah, see you guys on the next one.